Passing the Core Web Vitals is crucial for the success of any WordPress website. If you are unsure of where to start, this video will guide you through optimizing your Core Web Vitals with a special focus on the INP metric using WP Rocket. INP measures a page's overall responsiveness by tracking the longest delay between when a user initiates an interaction, such as a click, tap, or key press, and when the browser presents the next frame with visual feedback. A good score for INP should be less than or equal to 200 milliseconds. A poor score is over 500 milliseconds. Now let's dive into the specific actions you can take to enhance your INP. Once you install and activate WP Rocket, a key optimization automatically kicks in to boost your INP without you having to do a thing. It's called lazy rendering. What it does is that it only renders the elements that are visible to users at that moment. This means less work for the browser, so your page loads faster and responds quicker to interactions, which really helps improve your INP performance. Some other optimizations in WP Rocket need you to activate a few options, but don't worry, it's super simple and only takes a few clicks. First up is delay JavaScript. You can optimize your JavaScript resources by delaying the loading of JS files until the user actually interacts with the page, like clicking a button or scrolling. This means no JavaScript will run until it's really needed. Just head to the file optimization tab in WP Rocket and you can delay JavaScript execution with a couple of clicks. However, to really benefit from this improvement, make sure to exclude scripts that are essential for early interaction, such as menus, from the delay. Otherwise, delaying these scripts might not improve your INP score as much as expected. Next, we have Defer JavaScript. JavaScript files can slow down your page load because they are render blocking. To fix this, we recommend deferring them so that they load after the most important content has already been rendered. You can easily manage this with WP Rocket's Load JavaScript Deferred feature, which you will find in the File Optimization tab. And if you need to, you can exclude specific JS files from being deferred to avoid any conflicts. Then there's Remove Unused CSS. To boost your INP metric, it's important to minimize the work on the main thread by getting rid of any unused CSS. The easiest way to do this is by enabling the Remove Unused CSS feature in WP Rocket. Just go to the File Optimization tab, click Optimize CSS Delivery, and turn on Remove Unused CSS. WP Rocket will then automatically clean up any unused CSS from your page's HTML. Finally, let's talk about loading videos and images only when needed. If you are embedding something like a YouTube video on your page, it's better not to load it until the user actually wants to watch it. With WP Rocket, you can easily enable the Replace YouTube iframe with Preview Image option. This swaps out the YouTube iframe for a simple thumbnail, speeding up your page load time. And for images, you can apply the same idea using Lazy Load to make sure they only load when needed. With just a few clicks, these features in WP Rocket can significantly optimize your site and enhance its performance. Once you've activated these optimizations, it's important to check how they're impacting your INP score. You can find the INP metric in the Core Web Vitals Assessment section of the Page Speed Report. Keep in mind that this metric is measured based on real user data from the last 28 days, meaning it reflects the actual experience of your visitors. If the page doesn't have enough data, the INP metric might not be available. Also, remember that external factors like slow networks or devices can negatively impact the INP score, which means site owners won't have full control over every aspect of this metric. So there you have it, our top tips to improve your INP score with WP Rocket. For more best practices, be sure to check out our Core Web Vitals Resource Hub.